Hello, it's Nikki. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about pricing. And if this gives you slightly the ick, this may be your reminder, your invitation that you may need to look at this. And there is work to be done. And as a blanket rule, I have noticed in my life, in my business, if I am avoiding something, if I can't make a decision on something, it is leaving clues for me to explore further. So my question for you today is something that you can use all the time with yourself. Because many of us grow up thinking that we have to be pleasers, thinking that we have to be good girls, do the right thing, be kind and share, and all of those lovely things. And that is great, that we have those soft skills, that we're empathetic, that we are generous. You know, they all work in really great ways as well. However, there need to be other pieces in your business decisions alongside those. And of course, as with everything I always talk about, this is a pick and mix. So it's adding a bit of this, it's adding a bit of that, it's adding a bit of something else and coming up with your version, your unique combination that feels brilliant. So one of the pricing things that comes up all the time for clients is, I don't know if I can charge that. Will people pay that? Will people pay that? I don't I don't want money to be a factor uh, of, of not being able to do the thing. And that is a really useful part of the process because exploring that question will give you an indication of A, who is this thing for? And then having a sense of how you price it. But B, it will also help you to figure out Where does this sit within your complete pricing model, your income pie? So is this your absolute top end uh, high ticket offer? Or is this something that you want to make more general to lots of different people? Um, Where does that sit within there? And so this question that comes up of, will, can my clients afford this? Is this okay? My flip question around this is, can you afford to deliver it and sell it at this price? Now, of course, there is an overhead questions like how much does it cost you to do this thing? And, you know, something like a restaurant is, it has so many overheads of Uh, making sure that each table pays for itself, it pays for the staff, it pays for the food, it pays for the service, it pays for all of the things. But as a service-based business, sometimes that can be a bit more complicated, a bit more nuanced. And if you have a clear idea of what you want or need to make from your business, That's a really great starting point. So first and foremost, if you don't know what you want to, and this can be your own version of this, this can be your take home money profit, or this can be um, your complete turnover. If you don't know those numbers from the beginning, it's really difficult to be able to price it. So say, for example, you wanted to make, and I'm just using this for ease, you wanted to make £100 in your business every single month. You could sell one thing to one person at £100. You could sell two things to two people at um, £50. You could sell four things to four people at £25 or 10 things to 10 people at £10. 20 things to 20 people at £5. You get to choose how you do that. But unless you know that £100 is what you're going for, it will then feel a bit random. And at the age that I am now and the commitments that I have in life, random is too exhausting for me. I It it takes up way too much. It almost, when things become random, 
uh, it feels like my brain makes that noise that your computer might make. You know when it feels like it's really like, like it's about to heat up. That's what happens when things are too random. So now what I do is I take these time, this time to really work out why I'm doing what I'm doing. So to go back to my original question of, uh, I'm not really sure if my clients can afford to work with me. My next layer to this is, can you afford to work with them? Can you afford to deliver the, the prices, the services, Um, that you are offering. So if we went back to your goal of £100 and you were going to charge 10p for a two-hour session to, and that was the only thing that you had to make up the the amount of money, you're going to have to find a lot of hours in order to do that. So therefore, you can't afford personally, if your goal is £100, to charge your sessions at 10p each for all your clients. A, you're going to be really burnt out. B, you're um, you're just going to be overstretched and you're going to be working all the time. And C, it might not be physically possible to do that. And so have in the back of your mind what booked and busy looks like to you? How do you want to work your week so you feel like you are in a good spot, but you're not feeling like you're so at capacity? Or the alternative, you're getting to the end of the week and going, wow, I've worked really hard this week and you've got nothing to show for it. This is a process that I will go into in a much deeper way in my pricing and my packaging course. If you haven't done that course and if you are service-based business, if you are somebody who wants to have different streams of income, please come and do it because it will help you to build from the ground up. It will help you to build with facts, not feelings all the time. It will help you to gain clarity It will help you to be really specific, really intentional and really strategic. And so you're not only meeting your money goals, but you're helping the right people as well. I will leave the link down below. There are various ways that you can do this pricing and packaging work with you, with me, and I can do it with you. You can just do the course or you can come and work with me one on one as a one to one client um, in two different ways. So check out the links down below and I'll check you out. I'll check you out. (laughs) That's where we are. I'll check you out next time. All right. That's it for today. Bye.